cooking eggs. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I am the famous, infamous R.J. Straw. Mm -hmm. He'll go down in history for something, guys. I'm telling you. All right. It is May what? 19th. May 21st. I'm two days late and a lot of dollars <laughs> short. And this is episode 136, I think. Sounds about right. Close enough. 135, 136. Someplace it'll right be on there. the header. It'll say episode such and such. No, honestly, weekly update. Weekly update such and such. Okay. So, in the barn stalls, what do I want to this week? This week has been one of those weeks that just... <sighs> It's just been an off week. I don't know why. Um, just an off week. So, anyway. Let's go back to Mother's Day. With the friend and then the trailer. Okay, that's that? not barn stalls. Oh. Everything that happened on Mother's Day is not in the barn stalls. In the barn stalls, start with the duck. What happened with... Well, we don't know. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I'm eating bread and cheese eating fudge. Mm -hmm. Just say. Um, by the way, it's noon. We just haven't had time to really eat anything, so. Are you okay. doing that when you're not? You grabbed some donuts this morning, correct? Yeah, I got them at Walmart. I'm starting eating on them when we got the car. Okay, so he's had breakfast, so he's just snacking. Snack like a lacking. Snack like a, I don't know what that word is. Anyway. All right. Let's get serious. Not waste people's time. Come on. In the barn stalls, what happened with the duck? He broke his flapper. Only one does this, the other one does. Okay. But is it something to joke about? Nope. You can only fly with one way. Okay. So. Flies in a circle now. He does not. Come on, how serious is it? He broke his wing. So. Okay. And. As in, not just broke the bone. What happened? He broke his wing and the bone's sticking out right about there. It's so protruding. It should heal over, but he probably won't be able to fly no more. And he's on antibiotic. Now, if we had thousands of dollars, what could we do? Well, he's fixing it. The vet said they could take and do pins and stuff. and The likelihood that the bird would actually live through surgery is... You know, anytime you're with anesthetic, it would be. But we just decided not to chance it. He said, keep it clean, right? Yep. Um, they tried to put the bone back up in the skin, but it, it may actually. We're praying that it scabs over where the bone is so that it'll be in. So we'll see. All right, where are the chicks at? Chicken coop. Mm hmm. They're in for a while when it's storm. Then they're out for a while. Mm -hmm. They just come and go as we get scared that they're going to flood out. Yep. <laughs> okay, and you've been doing a little bit of shearing, correct? Yep. In between the rain. It's hard to get the shearing done when the animals are wet. Come on, pop, because yep. my mouth is full. What are you playing with? Nothing. Mm hmm. Our juice pockets. Pocket juice, whatever they are. Anyway, come on. Yeah, his phone is dying. So is my pocket juice. No, it's not. <laughs> because he just switched my pocket juice with his pocket juice. I keep mine hooked to the computer so that when I get it, I just have to grab it and go. <laughs> You're going to be really mad if you back grab it and it's dead, aren't you? Yeah, you better put that hook that right back you in there. You guys the are about to. Oh, I shouldn't have done a camera. <laughs> What, you're going to witness the death? Yep. No, nope, he's going to plug it back in. Um, all right, so with them wet, you can't shear. Um, we tried putting in some for one night, you know, and it just, it's taken longer than what we expected because when they're wet, you can't shear them. And the stress of the heat during the day, and they're, if we put them in the barn the night before, and then we don't share them until that afternoon when he gets home from work. Sorry, I have the windows open. Um, and that means they have to go through, like, 
the cool of the morning in the barn and it gets really hot in there before we can get them out. So it's kind of a catch 22, heat in the barn or then be wet. So we're just going to take it slow and keep going. Right? Yep. We will get them the done. We will get them done by the end of May. That would be like the latest that we've ever had them sheared. So. Oh, I have to sure you did. I didn't think so. Anyway, I don't know. All right. What happened with little Garrett? Why am I mad about little Garrett? It's not yeah. Garrett's fault. In the farmhouse, him and I had a tip, okay? After that whole thing, we finally get home, and what happened? Garrett was hung up in the fence. Mm -hmm. And if I'd have been home, like I was said to have been home, my little Garrett wouldn't have been hung up in the fence. He's fine. Um, I may have to put a crown of shame on him, which is just a stick, electric tape to his... Uh, horns that's too wide to go through the squares. So, you've seen a dog carrying a bone, trying to go through a door, it would be the same principle. Um, but if we just take, and he's got his two horns, and you put a stick vertically across there, just tape it on. Kind of keeps them from putting their heads through, huh? But he nearly tore out the whole fencing on the gate, did he? Yeah, he had it done. It was all down. Yeah, like, I had, midnight, I was out there fixing fence, was I not? Okay. All right. In the fields. I was out fixing fence at midnight. Yeah. For because Garrett had it down. <laughs> so for mending fences, we just have that. Um, truck had a flat though, didn't it? But mm -hmm. I was on the NASCAR pit crew, so we went and fixed it. Interpretation to normal people. He's changed my flat. But here's the thing. Who'd been driving the truck? Who had Everybody even tr Moses been driving. No, Wasn't no, my no. fault. Him and his father had been the only ones driving the truck. So. Well. Anyway. Alright. In the Yarn Farm, what do we have going on? June 2nd is coming up our Fireflies and Stargazing. Correct. Okay. So we're doing that. Um. Other than that shearing, really, there's nothing really fibery going on, is there? I've been consignment spinning. I've got to get that done and get it out of here. So I've been trying to work, but I haven't had much time to sit down and do things. So, yeah. In the fields. How's that going? You stopped doing that. Okay. Does anybody Hello. want him? Anybody at all? Here, we'll sell a jar of spearmint. You will going not. once, going twice. Spice. Five dollars, five dollars. Going once, going once, going Son, once. Stop. Comment your prices. We have spearmint. We have basil. We have. No, we don't. Oh. No, we don't. We have a nice tumbler bowl. It's no, we don't. We're not stuff. selling anything yet. We're not even too off to market yet. So stop. We shall return and off to market with our. No live sale. auctions. Well, they have to comment. All right, the in the fields, you tilled two spots, and what did we put in there with the tiller? What did we put in there? Stuff. What chives and garlic chives. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened the very next day? <laughs> that was a boom of thunder and rain. Fell. And that whole spot he tilled is now underwater. So while I padded the seeds in and stuff, we shall see, huh? Uh, I if your chives start growing in the ditch. <laughs> I guess I'll harvest from the ditch and move them. But anyway, um, I also planted three of those tubs. I have rosemary, fennel, and thyme. <laughs> and I've got to get markers out there to them. Then, <sighs> you stop it. Then the watermelons, I had put the blocks from my block maker with my seeds in them out on this little thing to harden them off. Stop it. <laughs> You're a I couldn't dork. do it. I couldn't do it. You hit me. I just had to. <laughs> I said stop it, not freeze. Well, I stopped it. Where's the it then? In my hand. Don't you see it? It's it. 
<laughs> you spilled it. Um. Anyway, you spilled it. Can we get through this? Well, no. Why would we want to get through this? And I actually have to do something. Uh huh, Mister. I think I'm going to take a nap today. <laughs> I did say that more than once. Anyway, so I also took out the watermelons. Um, where I had the block makers, it rained so hard it disintegrated the blocks, and so I had a lot of plants with just bare roots exposed. So I hurried out there yesterday, and I put them all on the ground, and we'll see. And I did my, I'm calling it my roost out. Are you done? I'm calling it my roost out maybe method because I did put them in the ground and then I put hay around them to kind of support them. So even though they're kind of wilted over, um, there was three little gourd plants that I did the same thing with. And then I brought the rest of them in because the rest of them, it's the loofah gourds. I brought the rest of them in because they don't seem to be germinating. So I'm putting them back in the heat of the barn and, and then when they get bigger. Our two mystery ones that I uh, were in the blocks and I took them straight the minute they peeked their heads out and put them out in the garden with the hay around them are doing good. Um, the other two squash that I planted, they're gone. I mean, just after what the fourth flood now, they've kind of pretty much washed away. Quit sucking on that. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Are you going to participate? You're just being. Why not? He thinks he's funny. He's not funny. Are you funny? You think I'm funny? Comment and let me know. I say he's not amusing. Anyway, so I put all those out there. I have planted some. Thank the sage is coming back. Um Oh, the tomatoes, we put those up on the top of the um, ring. I also put up, and I just did this yesterday, so it wasn't even in the garden update, um, but it will be. I've got to go shoot that Tuesday. Um, I took the bell peppers, the bull nose bell peppers, and I put them around the ring in the third ring. I think because they were down to disintegrating away. So, Moose, that's enough. He's mad because everybody else is outside and he's not. But if I put him outside and attend, what does he do? Runs away to go lasso him. Mm -hmm. You don't lasso him, but he runs out in the pasture and after the sheep and just stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Quit, quit, quit. All right, so that's about all in the. Oh, no, in the fields. What did I get from Mother's Day? Yeah, are we doing? Five. Yeah, this is um, not yet. I'm, I'm real. I got five horse feeders with lids. I got, no, only four of them had lids. I had the other lid there. I am not a cow. He's tying my hand. Chill out, you guys. I'm going to take a nap. Anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the tubs. Then I got for my... Um, will you stop? You can't get out, can you? <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, I got seven tubs that had cracks in the bottoms. <laughs> okay. And those tubs are the herb ones. Hang on, I gotta read time it on. Hey, come on, let's get through this. Um I got seven I have a headache, guys, so he really Boom right there. <sighs> Some days I believe we need edit. Other days I firmly believe that you guys will only see the true us us if we don't edit. Today you're Let's seeing see. the very true us and a very annoying little twerp. Yes. She's and free mom. to a good home. Take her home, guys. I was talking about you. <laughs> An annoying mm -hmm. little twerp. I'm not little in any way. Although I eat less than he does. Um anyway. 
I got seven tubs with busted up bottoms, which I put dirt and soil in. And those are what I'm doing my herbs in. And then um, I got three that were in perfect condition that we're using for water troughs. Correct. And then I got four horse ones with lids and one extra horse one because I had a lid out there. So um, the horse feeders, I haven't made the bottom part for them yet, but I'm getting there. All right, I think that's all for in the garden. I really do, in the fields. Anything else? I mowed the, the garden. I haven't gotten this out here mowed because it keeps raining and it doesn't dry out enough to um, mow. It's sunny during the day and the last, what, three nights, sun, four nights? It right. has just, Thursday it started. It's, it just, crazy, crazy. So, wow. anyway. All right. Now, on to the part that he wants to tell you all about. In the farmhouse. That's me. I'm in the house. It's a farm in the house. I'm in the house. Armadillo. Oh, I got mom a present for Mother's Day. Left it underneath the trailer. It's an armadillo. You're going to have to talk about it. You're further away and the fans are on. And... I got my mommy an armadillo for Mother's Day. She didn't like my present. Why didn't I like your present? What was your present digging at? The tires on the trailer. And they have sharp little claws, so yeah. He was pretty much trying to shred the inside of that tire, huh? So I fought with the armadillo. I took a stick and poked at him, tried to get him to go on. And I yelled at him. And Poking stuff with a stick doesn't work to make him go on. You know what? This is a prime example, guys. And my eyes closed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, it did not hurt. Assault, <laughs> <laughs> assault. I'm going to say you're 19. Assault. I would like to file so a... Assault. It's in there in the cabinet. It's assault. Okay, assault is one grain of salt, right? <laughs> it's in there in the cabinet. I would like to file a police report. I've become assaulted. Physically assaulted. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. You go do that while we finish up. Okay. Where do you file a complaint on this The place? police department. Drive yourself. Um, okay, the other thing that happened in the farmhouse is, what were you eating before you got assaulted? I was eating some arsenic-flavored fudge. He's trying to kill me, guys. Sure, sure, sure. I made some fudge, and I made a cheese spread, which is a chive cheese spread. And then I made farmer's cheese, which is garlic and I think chives I think chives um, so yeah but and then I made some cookies which she hasn't found yet and then oh and my other stuff all right here are I'm um, I cleaned out my herbs and stuff and got some of those done uh, I don't have all of them labeled correctly that's what I'm working on for what we use them for. And some of them have. Can we not take this off? <sighs> some of them have. Um, okay. Some of them have so many uses that the label is not big enough or long enough. Like the mint, we use that for everything from digestion to helping um, our stomachs to common a headache um, for clearing our asthma. I mean, we used it in different ways. Some of it's tea. Some of it is um, boiled, um, like the aroma. So I'm having trouble figuring it out. So far, I've come up with this little thing here. Let me see. Um, and I have my herb in here that I've dried. And then I just put spearmint. It's got a cute little thing on it. It was a pre-done thing. I just put that, and then I was writing in pencil what we use some of them for. Like my time, I use it as a balm for pain reliever. 
Um, I use it in tea for colds, um, when you can't sleep and kind of sore throat. So, and I've just been writing in pencil on there. So I'll figure out a good way to label it. Um, I also figured out that I have no, in my cabinet, I have no lemon balm or chocolate mint dried. So I will be doing that too. Um, and I just dehydrate them and do it that way. That's all my granny ever did. So that's what I did. Now I did, um, I ordered some shea butter. The ladies at the farmer's market, of course, were talking about the lotion bars. And... I went ahead and I made their almost a half an ounce uh, little sample so that people can get used to the idea first. And I just made three batches. Um, one is just, what did you do? Stop, you're messing with the computer and I can't tell if any of that recorded. You dork. It all recorded. It's still recording. It just went to sleep on you because we're slow. Uh-huh. And it's never done that before. Anyway, I made all natural organic um, lotion bars and this is just the basic one with shea butter um, beeswax and coconut oil RJ what did you think of these that's this cool is, this is just the normal it's cool it's all cool it's all cool okay how did it smell though it smells good that smells like candy bar the shea butter takes over it smells like shea butter the shea butter is a very like dominant smell um, the next one that I made, I infused with mint um, tincture, and it just has, okay, a tincture is the first step in making an infused oil. Still a bit in. No, I'm sorry. A tincture is the first step in making an essential oil. And I used the tincture because I didn't want to have to dilute down the essential oil. Um, and it takes a lot more, um, what do you call it, plant to make an infused, to make a essential, essential oil than it does an infused oil. <laughs> so this one I played with and used my tincture so that I didn't have to dilute it down and all that. Um, the shea butter is still really prominent in this. RJ, what do you think? Smells like what? Like the last one. Yeah. But when you seal it up, you actually can smell some of the alcohol um, that is infused with the mint. You can't really smell the mint. Wow. Then I decided to try, and I want him to smell this one first off. Come on. Right when I open the bag. Smells no, different. I can't place what it smells like. Mmm. Okay, it smells like thyme and rosemary. But anyway, I played with a different way to do this. And what I did was I infused the coconut oil with some other, which is probably what I'll do. I probably won't make any more of these um, because I like to use a tincture in a different way. But I was trying to get that essential oil type thing. But... I infused my oil with the heat method and I infused the actual oil that was going to go into these so I didn't have to compensate or change my recipe. On this one you had to change the recipe because there was the liquid from the tincture in there. This one I didn't have to change my recipe because I put all of my ingredients in my coconut oil. And in this one I did it to repel bugs so I did thyme, rosemary, lemon balm, and mint. So. Those things. The only thing missing from this that Granny used to do is uh, catnip. I don't have any catnip yet, but I'll get some. Like I said, it's a slow start, but now. Anyway, catnip. so this one is supposed to repel bugs. I we always just took it and, and Granny made it in liquid form instead of the bars, and we just sprayed it around our wrists and our ankles. That is what this lotion bar you're supposed to do is, is put it around your wrist and your ankles and hopefully no bugs will get on you. Um, I need some So, anyway, I have made these three. I have had one inquiry about selling them online and that is, I don't know that I want to do the Etsy shop because on Etsy you have to compete with so many other people. Um, I think we're going to redo our shop and maybe do a square shop where we can take um, all major credit cards and that and and 
it would be fine. It really would. So square No, it's square marketplace. It's it's the same one. Um, they featured us in the boardroom. They did a, a presentation off of the farm and how we utilize it to the people who were um, manufacturing. It was a, a manufacturing thing and all that stuff and it was it was kind of a weird interview, but it was what, last winter? So yeah. um, we're thinking that we might utilize them as, as our shop. Just saying. So if we do, it will be on the webpage. You won't have to go anywhere else. Right? And that's one thing we like about it. Instead <laughs> of having more links and more places to go to find us, just one. So one. we really like Vince that idea. Well location. What we have to figure out is if paying their monthly fee is less than paying the Etsy shop fees. It all depends on how much we sell. It does. So um, now I've only made the little sample bars for people to try. They're 75 cents a piece and I really think you can just slide them in a envelope and I shouldn't have to charge for more than like 50 cents for shipping. 50 cents for shipping. Well, no, because two of them, it would depend. I'll have to weigh them and check and <laughs> see how many can go in an envelope and then weigh it. You know, so it might just be a couple of dollars or more than one. But uh, anyway, we're going to start out getting people used to those, getting people's feedbacks. Um, I've got uh, a massage therapist who's going to take and try all because they're a little bit different in consistency and see which one he likes and which one he doesn't. Um, but we'll see. Right? All right. Anything else? We had a Pepsi. No, we're not. But I got my tea over there. We went. We had to go grocery shopping. Okay, sorry. I didn't get it done on Wednesday because all the storms and all the rain. Today I hope to get some mowing done. Lee is still in bed. Um, it's where Sunday and not next. Saturday. That's where he says he's going next. I did get a haircut, but nobody's really noticed other than my daughter. So <sighs> I think it looks cute, but nobody else even notices. So. And surely not this dude. I did too notice. No, you didn't. After you told me. Yep. So, anything else? Then? Stop it! Oh my god, now I do want you to just freeze. Okay. So, I think that's it. I'm still working on getting some. Um, I haven't. I did join an herb of the month. Um, club and each month they are going to send a thing but I haven't gotten anything yet so we'll talk about that when it comes and what they say the uses are right now I'm just concentrating on the ones that my granny dehydrated and gave to me and told me you know use this use that and then I'd complain about some she said well you have some of that left that I gave you you know some of that time or some of that rosemary and I said yeah okay do this with it do that with it um so I'm still working to research each one of those and each time I come across something that she told me to use it for, oh yeah, she said use it for that and so I'll write it down. And that's where the pencil marks come on my labels. So anyway, other than that, I think that's about it, isn't it? We've been through everything. RJ's froze. I have peace and quiet for the day, which you know that won't last. We have to work up the arena. Um, I have some plants I'm working on inside. I've got, oh, my wool is in the thing. I'm going to wring it out, uh, put it through a spin cycle, and get it on the drying rack. So, but other than that, I think we're good. And I guess I will talk at y'all later. Okay, unfreeze and tell them goodbye. Bye, guys.